Hey YouTube, this is FarWizard23, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Second Quest. Yes, after some pondering of what I can do for an, my next LP, I've decided to do the second quest of the original Legend of Zelda for the NES. Now, just a couple of warnings before we start. I do not remember the majority of this quest. I really just don't. So, right out flatly, this will not be a 100% run. I, I simply just don't remember everything about the game. There's going to be some death. Because <laughs> this, this is significantly harder than the main story. Um, I may ask for help here and there, just wondering about, oh, where can I go now? Where's this? Where's that? I, As a kid, I remember having the second quest map for the longest time, and I remember we had a hand-drawn map of the first quest, with like a whole bunch of notes and stuff, and that's primarily where my memory comes from the first quest. Um, so we're gonna see how well I can do with this. Again, no, no massive, uh, uh, <laughs> no massive promises here. And my glitch, that glitches out for a sec. Please look up the menu for details. Let's play. Got my old file, and to get to Yon's second quest, we simply input our name as Zelda. We get a little sword icon there, and you start in the second quest. As usual, let's go grab the sword. This will not be a swordless run. Forget that. I have watched a uh, swordless runs of this game, oh, and, and wooden sword runs of this game, and it's impressive, but that's not happening here. <laughs> Dungeon number one. Uh oh, got some Gariahs. Die, Gariah! Grab the key! Stealthers! So these monsters have some new tricks this time around. And there's new enemy types as well. Give the NES a lot of credit for being able to do some of these things. Got ourselves a compass. Blue Garayas! Goodness. Already. Oh, more bombs. Am I gonna die the first freaking level? Are you serious? If I die, that's gonna be hilarious. Oh! oh. First death. <laughs> we'll keep going. I'm I'm not a quitter. Incidentally, what is to the right here? 
Oh, by the way, I know exactly the mechanism of this dungeon, so I know where I have to go. I just want to explore everything. Oh, more Gariahs. Got a boomerang. Good. Anything to help me out at this point? So we can, we can see where this adventure is going very quickly if I die in the first dungeon. Stop. Stopwatches are awesome. All of you just die, seriously. <laughs> There's the room of the blue Gariahs. Oh, nice heart. Okay, we're back in this game. That wasn't really necessary to get the fairy, but I wanted to. Is that like the first time anyone has died in a Zelda game? These little Hershey kisses. These little chew jellies. Well, I mean, get, they're not chew jellies, but you get the idea. They, be, might as, they might as well have been recalled that. Here's the dongo. Oh, stupid. Grab some more bombs. Using the special trick there, we can stun him with a second bomb and then just grab bomb. Always get bombs as a drop. See, we're shaped like an E. How mysterious. I like that the Master Quest of Ocarina of Time took... made a point of almost mimicking this format for... It's uh, dungeon design, where basically the overworld quest is essentially identical, just changed the dungeons. Which I confess, I played through that, and I could not get past the water temple, the second water temple. See, we can't go up anymore. Hmm. So now what do we do? Well, if you look at our sub-map, we don't have, from the lower part of the E, that upper right room. So, huh. I wonder why. Let's head this way. Yeah, in those in, that, in Master Quest, the bosses are a relief when you finally get to them. They're, because they, they didn't change anything about the mechanisms for the bosses. Because if we bomb over here, and we could do this also from the south wall, would also blow up as well. From the room below that. Even the spinning, that little spin effect that the Master Sword does in Link to the Past, has Link sort of ever shot a beam after this? Oh no, they did it in the Oracle games, yes they did. As well as the, um, what do you call them? The, uh, Link's Awakening did it. Here's our old favorite, the War Masters. We got the fuzzies going on. The bubbles, I guess. Grab the key. Yeah. Go through. I think there's blue garias here. Bad guy roars his challenge. Gotta find some monsters, get a bomb. Is there anyone? I, I might have to leave and just let everything reset so I can get a bomb. So the monsters will reset. Let 
Imagine I hate that thing in the middle that fires at you. I hate that thing. It's wonderful. I need bombs. <laughs> need a bomb drop. But seriously, I need bombs. Um, for those who are wondering, I have played some of Wind Waker. I stopped at, like the God Temple. I, I couldn't. I hated. I saw the water physics. I'm like, okay, forget this. This is not happening. Call me a wimp if you want, but like, yeah, I'm not. We're not doing that. <laughs> It's just the mechanics of it. I, I have really a difficult time with the visualization. Let me get one with the Garayas in the other spot. Or the Wallmasters. Come on, game, don't let my OP suck. <laughs> Go this way. Got it, even though technically the boomerang didn't come back to me. It's a hard. I c I'm going to do this. I don't care if it kills me. I'm going to do this level. So again, we've got to find a bomb. That is the big thing here. I need bombs. Looking at you, Garias. <sighs> I need bombs. Am I gonna literally have to go out and buy bombs? Are you serious? Maybe it remembered what I did last time. No, it couldn't have. No! I don't believe this. Keep going. We're not giving up on this. We need a bomb. You guys stay still so I can kill you. This game is literally going to make me leave this dungeon to go get bombs, isn't it? <laughs> I 
saving up money for it. Might as well just do it. This would never happen in the newer Zeldas. You would never run out of bombs. <laughs> There'd be like bomb flowers and stuff sitting around. <sighs> My god, I look like such a noob. I've never seen, like, enemies not respawn when a dungeon is reset. Not a quitter, but I got a different plan. Get out. Get, get out of this dungeon. We need to go find bomb. Watch me find bomb is, like, the first enemy I kill. I would laugh so hard if that was a bomb. But usually you get it from blue Octoroks. I got bombs! Oh my god! It's incredible. There are such a thing as bomb thing as Alright, we're going back to the dungeon. I've got the bombs I need. To blow open one freaking wall. Any example of how this LP is going to go, we're in for a long haul, viewers. Oh, I forgot the guys in here. I'll check the first one drop the bomb. Oh, oh yeah? Well, I got my secret weapon. Dying. We're gonna keep going. I'm not giving up on this. You're going to watch this whole thing, viewers. You're gonna watch this whole thing. You're gonna watch me beat this level. And we'll end the video there when I beat the level. Frickin' die! As I said, you could get through this way, too. Thank you. Ugh. Push this open. Just go for the wall. Just get the wall open. Quickly before you die. Forget the wall master. Just open the wall. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it! Nope. 
die! <sighs> we did it! Torn and tattered. I got it! <laughs> I got the first Triforce piece. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Next time, on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, second quest, we're going to continue on. This is Fireworks 23. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.